that's $17 billion. Support for our frontline health care workers, relief for families, relief for business, and relief for workers. $17 billion in relief and support for all of you across this great province. We believe that the $17 billion, $7 billion of direct support and $10 billion of support with cash flow for businesses and individuals uh, will make a big difference in the lives of Ontarians at a very, very difficult time. There, of course, was, uh, was economic modelling, but we are in unprecedented times. Uh, underlying any economic challenge like the one we faced is a matter of, is a matter of confidence. And in this case, the confidence is a function of a, of a health care crisis, a global health care crisis. So, uh, so we made assessments, again, looking at a variety of private sector sources in terms of economists, uh, as well as looking at uh, typical or other sorts of uh, scenarios like this. But the truth is, um, we do our very best to put together projections, but things are changing hour to hour, day to day. What we've done, though, is made sure that the province has the financial firepower uh, in terms of the reserves and in terms of the investments that we need to make. That, uh, that the province will be able to weather whatever, whatever is on the horizon. This is something that's going to be very volatile uh, for, the, for the, the period ahead. Um, obviously, the projections we made are ones that we think uh, will stand up, um, but we are going to have to adjust them. And I'll just remind, uh, remind the, uh, the folks that, you know, unlike uh, previous governments, we have made a commitment that on a quarterly basis, um, I'll be out uh, to make sure we update the financials. So we will, on a very regular basis, be reporting back on this plan, on its progress, on the economics behind it, to make sure that Ontarians can trust what we're saying.